Hey guys, it's Stephanie Legacy coming to you live reminding you to love your life and live your legacy. Today, I wanted to spend just a brief moment going over a study that Evernorth did related to the impacts of coronavirus and family planning. Evernorth is a subsidiary of Cigna, and they did a study of about 2,000 women ages 25 to 45 to see how the pandemic had impacted their family planning. Um, I'll give you the stats. I'm going to be looking over here just to make sure I get the notes right. Um, and then just share my thoughts. And I'd be curious to hear what your thoughts are, as well as how has the pandemic impacted your family planning? So, um, they mentioned that, uh, they talked about employer, ba employer based plans continuing to cover fertility coverage. Uh, fertility coverage is really for people who are struggling to conceive naturally, um, and then they said that some people hope to have even more children or expand their families earlier than they previously had planned in light of COVID-19. They looked at whether spending um, more time, obviously, at home, potentially homeschooling kids, if you had kids uh, under difficult situations where you're trying to balance that work from home and also child rearing and potentially child educating, if that had impacted uh, family planning. So what they found is that 60% uh, of women say that their plans to have children have not changed. So just a little bit over half of the people surveyed said that their plans in terms of children and their families had not changed. 13% said they wanted to have more children than they previously had planned, which I was pretty shocked to hear that. Um, and that this was especially true among women aged 35 to 45 which actually increased to a 20% 20, 20 of women in that age group said that they wanted to have more children than they previously had planned. And then they said up to 14% of respondents are actually accelerating their plans to add to their family. So instead of holding back, they're moving that forward. And that many respondents said the pandemic helped them to recognize the importance of family. Others are eager to increase their family because of more flexibility at home, which I thought was interesting. And they also said that the study suggested that unintended pregnancies may be on the rise. I think a lot of people were saying this um, when the pandemic first came out. They talked about the pandemic babies and people naming their kids like COVID with a K and all of that that nine months later we were gonna have a boom of either babies or divorces, um, depending on where you were, hopefully not both, um, but that nearly 40% of respondents, including those who did not plan to have more children, reported increased sexual activity and a 10% decrease in the use of birth control. So, stats don't lie there. Uh, I wouldn't be so concerned about the increased sexual activity as long as the birth control percentage stayed similar or increased. So uh, what are your thoughts about this? I found it interesting. I mean, as a child-free person, my husband and I always joke, like, the pandemic, what a great time to be child-free. Um, I think the pandemic has been stressful. It's been exhausting. For us, it's been actually relatively tolerable. Our lives compared to like my sister who has young kids at home who thankfully were able to go to school a lot actually. Um, but generally speaking, our lives were much easier, but there were still trying times mentally and emotionally. And I mean, I already worked from home. My husband was able to work from home some, but I think having to shift not everybody's set up in a house where they have space. I'm in my office right now. It's a room designated for me to work. Not everybody is able to shift like that. Um, not everybody has a space. And then on top of it, you're potentially adding kids and having to find a quiet space for them to homeschool and trying to have them be on the lesson plans while you're on a conference call. I was pretty shocked to see that people found that they want to have more kids, 13% would like to have more kids than previously planned. Now, it's interesting that those that are 35 to 45, there was actually 20% more that wanted kids. Perhaps this lends to the idea that people when you're older, you're more well-established, you have a greater support system, you have more financial means to have children. I would say those are probably all very strong arguments for why they have a higher incidence of wanting to expand um, their family, but 
I was pretty surprised. And then the other thing I found surprising is that they said 14% of respondents are accelerating their plans to have a family. Now, I had a few friends that had children during the COVID lockdown and they were only allowed to bring their spouse in and they didn't even know if they could at the time. No moms, no uncles, no aunts, no dads, no, I mean, and when I say moms and dads, I mean like their moms and dads, little grandma and grandpa, right? And then after the fact, they were like showing their baby through the window to try and decrease the risk of COVID. Now, maybe this just says that like people generally aren't as concerned about COVID as we think they are. I don't know. Maybe, you know, they're like, if I'm going to be home, I want to be home with my family. I, I really can't say what's going through people's minds, but I don't think... Or maybe people think we're on the tail end of the pandemic now. But if it was me, I would not be wanting to go into the hospital and have potential for a major surgery like a C-section um, or be someplace where there's potentially more sick people or people who have severe forms of coronavirus to be there. I just wouldn't want to do that. So I thought those two things were surprising, that people want more kids and that they... Um, are gonna accelerate their plans. Is this surprising to you? As a child-free person, I'm like, thank God we did not have kids and we only had to worry about stuff going on with us and our extended families in terms of nieces and nephews um, and just keeping our elderly parents healthy and just figuring all that out. So I guess that just goes to show you that you flex and expand for the stress and responsibilities that you have in your daily lives. And we think we can't do things, but you can. Um, I'll be curious to see, not really related to fertility, but just kind of family dynamics, the studies on divorces after COVID as well. Hopefully I'm wrong there. And hopefully, you know, I think when people were uh, busy with their own lives, that they were traveling all the time or whatnot, right? They could kind of like avoid um, the things that weren't working so well, but this last year, you definitely were not able to do that. <laughs> um, and it was a good test of your relationships. Obviously for some people, I mean, 40% of people said they had increased sex. So for 40% of the people, it's working all right. Um, but anyway, let me know your thoughts. I would be Curious to see if you think along the same lines. And when you leave your thoughts, let me know if you have kids already or if you're child free, because I think that can make a difference in your reactions. All right, guys, have a great day. And remember to love your life so you can live your legacy. Have a good one.